If you saw my video on Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2, you know that I really like that game. I think it's a fantastic shooter, a fantastic multiplayer game, and also has some pretty good content for single player as well. And so when this game got announced, Battle for G for Neighborville, or whatever the heck it is, I forget, um, I was really excited. And I got even more excited when I found out that uh, if you pre-order the game, you basically get to play the game early. This game is not finished, by the way. I want to point that out right now. Uh, the, there's only one mode in the game. Um, there's a pretty decent open world to explore, but not every part of it is available to the public quite yet. Um, the game is also called quite buggy. There's I found a lot of glitches regarding like players clipping through floors and stuff like that, which is fine. It's early. That's, <clears throat> you know, whatever. So ignoring all that stuff, I've played this game for a little bit now. And uh, I've come to the conclusion that this game is weird. Let's start with everything that I like about this game. Alright, uh... Oh jeez, this is a lot shorter than I thought it was. Every character can now sprint, which is uh, actually kind of cool. And the animations are all really fun and unique and I like them a lot. This game still has just as much charm and personality as any other uh, Garden Warfare game has had. I don't know why I said that weird. Um... The shooting still feels good, if a little odd or something. I There's something weird about this game that I just ha I haven't been able to get used to it yet, and I'm hoping that just because it's a little new and just a little off from what I'm used to. The backyard battleground from the second game has kind of been expanded a little bit. Um, not only is the world that you can explore a little bit bigger, I think, um, every single character that you see on screen right now is another player. Um, it's a bit like an MMO, if you will. And it's actually pretty neat, especially whenever we go to the PvP parts of the map, um, where you can actually fight zombies, which are other players. And it's just a nice area to um, try out new abilities or try out characters that you haven't played as yet, land on trees, whatnot. So yeah, everything's new, everything looks pretty great. Um, but this game, they they made a lot of changes that I don't think benefit the game very well. I think a lot of them are kind of a step backwards, if anything. Um, the best way to show you is um, in the character select. Uh, they've added three new classes on uh, each side, so six in total. Um, however, in something that really genuinely surprised me, they've removed the variants of all the characters. So like how you had like for the pea shooter, you had the standard one, but you also had like a fire pea shooter, an ice pea shooter, like a Rambo pea shooter just a lot of unique variants that not only looked really cool But also genuinely changed how each character played and it was really neat Um, but those are gone now instead what we have here is an upgrades menu as you level up a character You unlock upgrades for that character that will um change a little bit how they were give them some small buffs Sometimes they will affect their moves maybe change them up a little bit. I'm not sure I haven't gotten that far um, and these are a good idea but I don't really like them all that much first of all it's kind of confusing and also it takes a while to actually unlock I haven't unlocked a single ability or upgrade yet uh, because you need to actually like prestige with the character in order to do that which doesn't take that long it takes about as long as it did in the second game but it's still kind of weird and also you really can't get everything that you want. I'm assuming as you level up the character you'll get more upgrade points. It's a neat idea and I think it could have worked well, but I don't think it really works that well with this game, especially whenever you have to do equip different upgrades for every single character. It gets kind of annoying, at least in the beginning part. Right, I think that's enough talking for now. Let's actually get into the game. Uh, there's only one mode so far, the Turf Takeover. I'm assuming they're gonna add modes uh, as they work on the game more. Um, also very similar to the second game, you just jump in the portal and off you go. So this is all pretty similar to the other Turf Takeover stuff in the second game. Yeah, there's a point right here, and the plants are trying to capture it, the zombies are trying to defend it. Oh, this is a, uh, <laughs> good one, guy. That was a new enemy, the, uh, or new player type, the, uh, Snapdragon that has, like, a flamethrower, basically. Uh, he's kind of not great. So they've made a weird change to the turf wars in this game where um, in the second and first game, the game determined on if the enemy was capturing it by if there were more enemies in the objective than there were defenders. 
But in this game, the game determines on if they're capturing it by if there are any defenders at all. If there's a, even just one defender against like five attackers, the attackers will not be capturing the point. Alright, they captured the point. I'm going to try uh, one of the new characters that got added, the uh, 80s action star, which is pretty funny. He has a uh, crossbow. Oh god, these are the, the- those mushroom guys are seriously really annoying in this game. They can get in your face very quickly and they do so much damage very quickly and they're hard to hit as well. It's very dumb and they- I really hope they uh, change how they play. Also, they can just decide to go invisible at some points and then you just can't find them anymore and then leave. Whoa, dodge that. There's a uh, tank guy. Yeah, he killed me. This is actually what the uh, spread shot's good for. <laughs> yeah, they're good for uh, making the enemy want to kill themselves, exactly. This is a really hard thing for the uh, plants to win, to be honest. It's <laughs> I've never seen them win this. I've only played on this like, map twice. But uh, in those two times, they have not even been close to winning. <laughs> oh man, what nefarious deeds have the zombies committed now? They've made a pole. With a flag on it. <laughs> Like I said, this game is so pretty funny. I'll give them that. They still nailed the charm. Boo, I'm not up there. That means all of you guys objectively suck. Alright, let's go with the acorn, because the acorn I want to show off. Okay, so the acorn guy is interesting. So, he's obviously very small. He's very fast, but he's also very weak. He only has 75 base health. Uh, he has a pretty regular machine gun. Uh, he can, you know, he can place it on a mine, and then detonate it, and that pushes zombies around. He can do this to dash out of the way of attacks. Um, but the interesting part about him is that he can press Y to transform into this big guy. Uh, you may have seen him around. He is extremely powerful if you don't get ganged up on like I am. Uh, even if you do, he can still take out the best of them. Oh boy. Uh, I'm going to see if I can transform. Haha, -ha, you fool! You let this happen! Who is attacking me? I don't know. I'm gonna jump out of that before I uh, get sniped. I, I, I got sniped anyway. Never mind. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, let the mushroom take him. He's overpowered. He can take him. <laughs> Give me the imp. That's much more my size. Oh boy. Teleport! Oh yeah, go through the smoke. That'll be good. Oh, hello. <laughs> Bye. Alright, it's gone to overtime for the zombies. I don't think it really matters for them, to be honest. They are kind of not in a good spot right now. Yep, oh, I feel so bad for those engineers. They almost made it to the objective, but they were stopped by one literal acorn. Hey, I just realized I was the top vanquisher of that round. Excellent. I Again, that's just a testament to how powerful the acorn is. I cannot believe that's an actual sentence that I just said. It's time to take the... I don't... I'm not sure what happened there. I don't... I literally don't understand. Oh, it was Mushroom Guy, because of course it was. <laughs> it's so hard to run with this stupid peg leg. Let's change a different character. I want one that's a lot less... dead. Oh, I'm on the wrong team. Oh, get that stupid thing out of my game. I'm going to see if I can revive this guy. Well, what happened? I don't know, but I arrived that guy. There's a mushroom! That's what happened. It's, that's always what happens. If there's ever a problem, just blame it on the mushrooms. Um, feel free to take that off context. Text? How did I end up here? Stop. You don't... Nope. I am out of there. Nope. Stop. Nope. No! I'm not letting you escape! Haha! -ha, get wrecked. Oh, there's, there's another one. Oh, God. Oh, I'm in a box. I am the box. You don't see me. I'm gonna leave. Oh, boy. Nope. Nope. Get me out of here. Get me off this crazy train. Oh, I just got put back on the crazy train. That's not what I wanted. I just realized there's a mine on me. <laughs> that's... That's actually really funny that that can happen to you. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't feel like we're gonna stop that payload. Yeah, I was right. I don't know who you are, but please help. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can actually overheal people. Which is neat, except for whenever there's a mushroom literally right behind you. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my. Oh, that didn't look fun at all. See, like, that guy's supposed to be, like, the tank of the team, essentially. And he got shredded by the mushroom. It's 
seriously ridiculous how much damage they do. Oh, oh, unless you do this and get behind and then die anyway. That's, that's how the pros do it. All right, time for the sneak revive. The mushroom, the, the mushrooms. That's all I have to say to that. There you go, guys. Okay, then. Man, it feels good to know that I am, I am not doing that stupid joke where I, <laughs> that I did last video with the corn because that was really annoying for a joke that wasn't even all that funny. Oh no, but now there's just acorns. There's not just corn, there's acorn. Oh, acorn died. Oh shoot, we have, they're at the final objective. I didn't even realize this. <laughs> uh, they have to capture, it's kind of like tower defense. They have to capture the um, batteries and then bring them back. Oh, you look like you're in trouble. Let's help you out. <laughs> All right, no, dude, come back. I'm trying to help. Idiot, come on. Do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. It's all going well. I pressed the wrong button. I'm down here now. That's okay. Oh, it's not okay because the freaking mushroom showed up again. I see the mushroom. Oh, I'm, now I don't see the mushroom. What is happening over here? Mushrooms are happening. Of, of course. It's just like in, everywhere in high school. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, that, that guy just... Well, that's just impressive. Oh, whoa, that's... Nope, guys, this is not okay. Uh, luckily, whenever you pick up a battery, you can't sprint or use any of your abilities. So you're just kind of screwed. Unless uh, you have teammates. Alright, dude. I'll get you up. Don't worry about it. Oh, I... Maybe worry about it now. Nope. Th the mushroom needs to die! Yep, I got, I got him. Now just make sure no one else gets here. And we'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, oh. Freaking, he's, doing the, he's doing the mushroom thing again. Oh, these, and he's doing the corn thing, and I'm doing the scientist thing. Haha! -ha. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna. I meant to teleport, but my guy just decided no. Nope. God, the mushrooms are annoying. They can also double jump, which the batteries don't stop. So basically, just whatever. The mushrooms are literally good in every single scenario. It's so annoying. Let's make sure. Yep, that's what I thought, idiot. <laughs> Get the heck out of here. Oh, oh. I'm getting the heck out of here, actually. Nope, nope, I'm not gonna let that happen. Guys? Nope, I'm... Screw you. Oh. Teleport over here. Alright, well. They, they had it covered, but that was still pretty cool, right? I don't know if we won that or not. I literally don't know. What's about to happen here? We're, we're blasting off in the space once again? I think we did it. I think that's mission accomplished. Ah yes, just what we needed, a lighthouse in space. Alright, now I am confused. Wait, what? Alright, we're gonna end things off with the good old fashion chomper, who I just realized has a ranged attack. When has that been a thing? Nope, you can't! This is not all, I don't know. I don't know how else I expected that to go. All right, they're doing a decent job of actually pushing the payload, but I figured once I come in there, yep, get over here. There goes Disco. Dead, right, like it belongs. Oh, and now I'm dead, like I belong? Oh, get sniped. I never thought I'd be saying that with the chomper, but here we are. Oh, what is, what is happening over here? What is happening over here? Uh. Let's go in here. Oh, this guy's so boned! Heck yeah. That was a pro play if I've ever seen one. Okay then, I stand corrected. Oh, they are, they are sending the mechs at me. And I'm stuck on literally nothing. Excellent. Oh, he hello. I'm gonna put those right there. <gasps> that actually worked! Yes! <laughs> he is donezo. Oh, and this guy, this guy doesn't even know what's hitting him. Oh, he has turned around. He, uh, now has a good idea. Oh, they only got 20 seconds, but they're also 20 seconds away from winning. So I don't know what's going to happen here. Yeah, oh, come on. I want to see this. I want to see them lose. Oh, it's contested. Shoot. No, I want to make them lose even better. Oh, they are, they are really, they really have. <laughs> and, oh, nope. They've still got fighting them. I'm impressed. Oh, I don't. 
I think that guy brought me literally right in front of him. And then... Yeah, if you're having trouble figuring out what's going on, I am too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's how this game runs. Alright, I'm gonna, like, build a thing right here. Right, just, you can just die. Come on. Oh, nope, the 80s action hero has decided to be a hero. It didn't work out. Alright, is that it? They've, they've stopped. They've given up. The plants win once and for all. But, uh, as long as you ignore the fact that um, the plants let the zombies launch two things in the space. And we don't really know what their true purpose is. So that's good. But <laughs> at least we stopped them from pushing a car. Well, I think you get the point at this point. This is Plants vs. Zombies battle for the neighborhood Ville. I already forgot the name. It's a very not great name, to be honest. <laughs> but anyway, that was that was the game. I do still genuinely like this game. I it's still very fun. I just it's just not as polished as I'd hoped for it. And some of the decisions they made kind of feel like steps backwards, in my opinion. Um, but I still do recommend it. It's only 30 bucks compared to, I think the other two games were like 60, so I, I still think this is worth it, to be honest. Um, yeah, I, I will definitely be uh, playing this game again in the future once the, uh, full release comes out. I want to see how much, how much this kind of progressive as development goes. And I think there's actually a better single player as well. I've just been focusing on the multiplayer, but there's some single player stuff, I think. So I'm interested to see how all of that goes. Um, but besides all that, um, that's that's the end of the video, I, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. And remember, never forget the difference between your corns and your acorns. I literally could not think of anything better than that.